Fuck yeah. That, that looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be jump started. <laughs> Good morning. It is what day are we today? It's Wednesday, the 21st of February. I thought I would just vlog the next day or two. Just because that's what I feel like making this week's video on. I've kind of set myself a goal to make a video every fortnight because that seems quite manageable and it gives me plenty of time to film, edit, in between actual work. What are they doing? <laughs> Kimmy's just so unfazed. He's doing his own thing. What is it? What are you spying? So, yeah, I thought I'd film the next day or like day or so. I've got a few different kind of like fun-ish activities. Well, they're, they're like fun in my mind. I'm gonna go for breakfast with my friend. She just got back from India. So I'm really excited about that. I also just need to go to the gym. I was gonna go early morning. Like it's currently seven o'clock in the morning. I've just dropped my boyfriend off to work. But I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. Like I'll just go later in the day. I've just been so, so tired the past few days and I've got no idea why. Like I've just suddenly like stopped sleep. Oh, you're rolling over. I don't know if the camera will focus on him. Hello, you want a belly rub? No, it was trick. It was trick. You're funny. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, I've just been so like wiped. Like I've just got no energy. And I don't think I've changed anything really. Like I, it's not like I've dr like drastically changed my diet. Like if anything, my diet's better because I'm eating more like fruit and vegetables. Like to be fair, like a couple months ago, I would literally eat like zero fruit and zero vegetables. It's really bad. So I was expecting to have more energy now that I'm like fueling my body much better than I was before. What do you want? He's looking at me like he wants the phone. You being so funny? What is the matter with you? Have I upset you? Hmm? What is it? I wasn't talking to you, but I can. Hmm? Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. I'm being nice to you. Ah, oh, you grumpy boy. Oh, so rude. He definitely has a favourite and it is not me. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out this morning. I'm meeting my friend at nine, so I've really only got, um, not even like an hour this morning before I need to kind of like get up, get ready, put some makeup on. We were gonna go for a walk, but it's horrible weather outside. So I think we'll just go for a coffee. But yeah, I thought I would take you along to whatever I get up to when I leave the house. And then I need to go into town because the entertainer had the Animal Crossing Monopoly on sale. So I'm really excited to pick that up and play that later. And I went to Hobby Craft the other day because mine and my boyfriend's Valentine's activity was that activity where you get canvases and you like swap every like 10 minutes or so. This is how they turned out so here they are that started as mine and that started as ben's but i ended up contributing more to that one and he made these snakes falling from the sky i was actually going for more of like a monet thing <laughs> the blue was actually a river to begin with but yeah, it's like an interesting little activity. So as a result, I needed some supplies, obviously. So in Hobbycraft, this was 25% off. Oh, that was loud. This was 25% off, so it was 30 pounds. And oh my God, it's just got so many, it's quite hard to do with one hand. It's just got everything you would need for a little craft day. So I think I'm going to sit down this evening and just do some craft, to be honest. I don't think I use the... Oh, I don't 
to go use the paints because they're a bit messy. But I think there's watercolour pencils and just regular colouring pencils. And they are all beautifully like sharpened. It just looks so satisfying. Um, what else have we got? Watercolour paints, oil paints, oil pastels, the brushes, a rubber, a little pot, even a pencil sharpener. So yeah, I was just like really excited about this set. So I'm gonna do some nice relaxing crafts this evening just to wind down because doing an extra shift tomorrow at work. It would normally be my day off. So I feel like I need to mentally prepare for that. So yeah, that's what the next day or so is gonna look like. Um, oh, I'm also going to Boom Battle Bar on Thursday. So what's the matter? What was that for? What's wrong? Is it because I'm talking with my back turned to you? Hold on. I thought you wanted picking up, but he obviously doesn't. Beauty. Well, at least this one doesn't mind being picked up. I don't know what's wrong with Kiwi. Like, he's just, he's just so mean to me sometimes. Like, he doesn't want me to pet him. He doesn't want me to pick him up. He doesn't sit anywhere near me. But he loves Ben, like, he'll sit on Ben's lap, like, he'll like it when Ben touches him. I just don't know what his beef is with me, like, it's so mean. But Marble just loves everybody, so it makes up for it, I guess. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to Boom Battle Bar. Is it even focused on me? I can't really tell. Tomorrow after work. So that would be interesting. I don't really know if I'll film any of that, just because it's, like, it's like a family thing. I'm going with my mom, my sister, mom's friend. Why's your brother shouting? He must be crazy today. Should we just let him out? Just release him to the wild. So there's a slim chance that that's actually going to be included in this video, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. But yeah, I feel like I've kind of rambled a lot during the intro so i'm gonna stop now i'm gonna go and get ready for the day and hopefully i'll see you at the cafe look at the weather it's so nice the outside i'm watching cozy k while i get ready i'm watching our star valley series from the beginning um really enjoying it. At the moment I'm obsessed with Stardew Valley. I've actually been using this, or like reaching for it more than my Urban Decay foundation. I've just really been enjoying it since I tested it in my last video. Sorry my cats are running around. They're playing, it's fine. Yeah, since my last video I've been kind of using it constantly really. Um, if you haven't seen my last one, I'll link it in one of the corners. Thank you. 
scared to actually say what I feel because it's gonna change. So good. It's just perfect. How much fluff is um, yeah, over there? It's gonna be on. I'm gonna break down. I do have a brush for him, and I I will brush him. But while he's just here, I like to tease some of them out with my nails. He just gets so naughty. No, don't eat the fluff. I just dug off of him. He's so fluffy. Look at him. Look how long this is. And it's so funny because, like, this is so long and then, like, the fur on his back is, <laughs> like, a normal length, I guess. But this, like, these side pieces are just so long and they just get, like, tangles, like, right near the, like, underneath of his fur. But yeah, I've done my makeup. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my hair in a claw clip because it's nasty outside. And I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna go out for a coffee. You can't see. This is my fit. I'm too it in the mirror. I don't want to do it in the mirror because the mirror is dirty, but this is my fit. I'm wearing like some kind of flared type jeans from Primark. This jumper is Hollister like years and years ago. I'm just wearing like a basic little high neck top and my fake Uggs because I don't want to spend hundreds of pounds on shoes. So these are like £30 from DH game. But yeah, this is the fit. And I'll probably wear a coat as well. Um, that would be so good. <laughs> Put my finger in it. Yeah. <sighs> I've just got back from breakfast we didn't get any food but we had a coffee oh it was the cutest little cafe Faye always names like such nice spots um i only like filmed like the coffee and like just a tiny little bit of how it looked because i don't want to be annoying and be like i'm just i gotta film for like my youtube video like you know what i mean it was so so nice i can love seeing my friend Faye. like she She's just so, she's just like such a great person. If you remember my birthday, it was back in January. She got me a cute little makeup bag, which I do really need a new makeup bag as well. And it's like waterproof on the inside, which is perfect. And also she printed out some pictures of my cats. Look, look at them, so cute. That was the last time she saw Marble as well. It's months ago. But yeah, it was just nice to hear about her trip to India and just like life in general, like, such a nice morning. I was gonna walk into town to save me from paying for parking, which I still, I probably still do. But like I have like this weird thing where if I walk on my own, I, th I think I get anxiety related. I must walk in such a way that's like wrong and it just like really hurts my calves somehow. Or like the front of my calves, like the front of my lower leg whatever that part of your leg is so i'm a bit put off by walking into town on my own just because it like i have to like take a break halfway there and it's only like a 10 minute walk if that but i like to do it for like the exercise and it's just like better to walk because it's like a 10 minute walk like i don't need to drive and it's, it saves me money on parking so i might just chill out before i like gear myself up for that <laughs> um I might see if Ben wants to come as well because he probably finishes shortly. But yeah, I just had such a nice morning. What I think I'm gonna do is while I'm like in a good mood because the last two days I've just been so like stressed out to the max. So while I'm like in a good mood, I might be productive. I've been wanting to create like a template for my like um, iPad journaling because I've, I've, I bought a Apple Pencil with my overtime vouchers so i wanted to create like a temp like a oh my god a template to use with prompts so it saves me from like writing it out each time and then it's like a bullet journal slash like journal journal so i might create that so i can kind of just like crack on and do my journaling on my ipad without having that barrier because i feel like oh, i can't start journaling on my ipad until i've made this template and it's just like silly so I think I'm gonna do that on Canva. Put something chill on in the background, probably Cozy K with Stardew Valley. Um, but yeah, let's do some journaling.
Okay, so this is what we've got going on. So I just did these like template, like text bits. So I can just copy it from this other page that I've got here. It's like my little sticker book. Um, I've just downloaded these from the internet. Um, this I just use to help my writing be straight and then I like delete it after. But I've just got these like prompts here so I can just add it in like anywhere and then I can still like go on to the next page and it'd be blank and do like a bullet journaling section so it's like a bit of everything going on so this side I've kind of copied it a little bit from a journal that I already have like a physical one so I've got intentions for the day three things I'm grateful for like a bit about sleep so I can like put how well I slept or how well I didn't sleep um activities for the day um what I'm manifesting for the day and then this is kind of like an evening side of the page. So what went well today, kind of my thoughts and feelings. And then um, three things that made me happy today because I just think it's like good to have. Um, and then like I could add like pictures here, um, kind of like annotate them or like do like a mood board, like that kind of thing. So yeah, I like how it turned out. And then I can just like copy, oh my God. Oh. I'm gonna copy this over and kind of make it as big or as small as I need it. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And help my lines be straight and then I'll just like delete it afterwards. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm kind of just gonna sit here and like fill this in while I watch my Stardew Valley videos. I missed that one. Four minifigures for seven quid ain't too bad. <laughs> you know, to display them somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You're a bit big again. Cats will get them. Shovel boy. Well, somewhere higher, I was thinking. And last but not least, Bud Girl. Oh, that that looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> Aryan Bud Girl. That looks so cute. There's a blank one. We don't have any lip on. No, you just have ten bells because that's there's only five bells in, no, this in a bell bag. No, not in this game. There's not. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, whoever gets it gets it first. Um, oh, fuck me. You'll be going first then. But you need to roll that as well. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> you need to be careful of that. As well as you can sell. Do I take that card? Yes. What does it say? Miles for stalk holders, pay five bells by the end of the game, or lose ten neck miles. No. So you keep that card forever, I think. Once you pay, flip this card over and keep it open to me. So do I just pay that now? You can pay it now. I think you've just got to do it by the end of the game. Yeah, it does say that, but I'll just do it now. You've only got five, so why are you trying to count them? No, I've got a, a bag and five. These, actually, because we don't need them. Yeah. I like the actual Monopoly. Yeah. No! I've got to get to jail! What are you going to do? Pay the five bells and just and then you can start next time? So I think that's at the start of the next items. game. 
Yeah, I guess not. Mm. Sorry, Mershling. This game might be over quite quick. <laughs> Do I roll again, or...? Consult the rules. You roll the dice and take your turn as normal. Mm. There you go. Off you go. Dodo time. Hmm. I want to... I want to go on a question mark space. Oh, I thought you'd take that one. Oh, okay. Your resident sells you their old hat to pay to. Alright. Parts of the game. What? Oh my god! What Why happened? am I going back to jail? <laughs> I'm fish. I did pretty well. Where am I? Am I ever going to pass go? <laughs> oh yeah, you don't even have your special card. Oh, I think you've got to buy barbecue grill first as well. Barbecue grill. Damn it. I didn't want the stinky barbecue grill. Well. That's and then pretty much. You've got to like at least look at the next one to flip it, I think. Oh, outdoor bath. No, you can't have outdoor bath. I want outdoor bath. It's only 10 as well. Alright, here's all my cashies. Well, give me just the yellow one. Why are you crying? You don't want to go outside. Hello, so today it is Monday the 26th of February and I'm doing something actually really exciting. So my sister is doing a course on like the like permanent jewellery thing. I've seen loads of like TikToks about it and I've wanted one for ages and because she's doing the course on it I get to go and be her guinea pig. So I'm going to Torquay today to get a permanent necklace. So yeah, I'm super excited. I've just got ready. My eyelash kind of looks wonky. These are the magnetic ones and it's like not agreeing with me today. But yeah, I'm gonna go drive an hour. Um, I'm gonna get a coffee with one first and then I'm gonna get my permanent necklace. So I've taken off the ones I normally wear because I've always got like that. Um, like chain one that I wear that's like a double necklace. It was only like £10 from Levissa, but it was one of their waterproof ones. So the color didn't fade at all. Like I only really wear gold jewelry. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So let's go. Is it welded on? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Bloody hell, you're hooking me up. <laughs> yeah, I am. About to be jump started. I'm back from Torquay. I've already taken my makeup off because I just want to chill now. But oh my god, it was so much fun. Basically, I can't really remember if I explained it before I left, but um, my sister's today she was like doing the course to learn how to do the permanent jewelry so she can book her own appointments and things like that. Um, I think she's gonna work at the actual like place that trained her, if that makes sense. But here it is. It's so cute. It's got my like zodiac sign on it. So that's like the symbol for Capricorn. It's probably long enough that I could take it off if I really had to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get another one, which is like 
a little bit shorter, maybe with like a cute little sparkle on it. So then I've got like my stack and I don't have to take it off and it doesn't tarnish and it would just be great. But not only did I get the necklace, I also got a bracelet and an anklet so she could like test out all the different areas where people would have them. So this is the bracelet. It's like little hearts as well. It's so cute. Um, and I'll insert footage of my anklet because I can't be bothered to like lift my leg all the way up there. But um, yeah, I went and I was only expecting a necklace and I got all three. And honestly, I'm so excited because I keep seeing the trend on TikTok and I've been wanting one for ages. And I got three for free because it was just a kind of help my sister train on like a natural person. But yeah, she did a really good job. I'll link the place down below in case anyone locals to Bay wanted to kind of like check that out. I think normally it ranges from £50 for like a piece of jewellery. I'm not too sure because they haven't advertised necklaces before. Um, so yeah, around £50 to £60 I think it is. But yeah, I'm just, it was just so much fun. It was just like good vibes basically. But yeah, I'm really excited about it and I'm excited to go and get another one at some point. And I might see if she can do a ring as well because I have seen people do rings. So I might see if she can. And I think rings and necklaces would sell well because they only advertise for bracelets at the moment. So just call me an entrepreneur. But yeah, it was a really good time. And I got to kind of help her take pictures of the like jewelry pieces as well to put on their Instagram. And that was really fun because I used to do that a lot. Just as like a hobby, I used to have a blog and I would just like review things on there. So product photography is something I'd done before. So I kind of felt like in my element, but yeah, it was just a super good day. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day, play some Saudi Valley. Um, tomorrow I've got an appointment at Specsavers because I'm gonna get contacts instead of wearing my glasses all the time. So I'll, See you in the morning. This is actually my first purchase from TikTok shop, but it only took me two videos to buy this and I just thought I needed it. It is the, what do you call it? It's the tripod that just follows you around. It like tracks your movement and I just thought it was really cool. And I don't have like a smaller tripod, so I thought I'd purchase it. And it was literally like £13, including shipping, which is so good. And it came in pink, so I was sold. Oh, it's such a nice pink as well. So pretty. Oh, and also something else that I really like is it's got like a screw on the bottom, so I can screw it onto my bigger tripod if I need to. Um, so yeah, honestly, if this works well, I mean, even if I just use it as a tripod, like it's like it's really good and the added bonus of it tracking which i feel like will be good for like some vlogs or whatever doesn't you can't like rotate it like that way if you know what i mean but you can oh well you can to a certain like point but cool should we give it a go okay it's in the stand is that straight um, how do we make it track me? Oh. Oh my god, that's so weird. I'm not actually central though. That's so bizarre. I feel like I'm central here. It's close enough. I feel like I'm just not going to use this feature that much, but... Like, how does it know that it's tracking, like, me and not, like, another object or something? 
That's so weird. Sorry, you can see all the shit in the background now. Palm gesture. No, okay, that's not stopped it from dragging me. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's so weird. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I'm probably not going to use the tracking feature that much, but it's just a cute little tripod. And it means that if I need like another angle from my normal tripod that's like overhead, I can because this is like an extra little extension, if that makes sense. Because the only other tripod I have, I don't know if you can see it, is this. Oh, this one. You can't see it, obviously. It's actually just blurry. But it's just like a normal camera tripod. It's just like I just ended up with. Um, so yeah, this is a nice, like, I can pop it down on the worktop. Currently it's sat on my air fryer, but absolute bargain. And you know what else I was influenced with? The little lapel mics that you can get from TikTok shop as well. So they're arriving soon as well. So I'm gonna be full on professional. Sound quality, hopefully, is gonna be. And when it's tracking me around, I'll also have the microphone on me as well. So it just all works so well. Anyway, I've got a appointment at Specsavers today. I'm gonna get contact lenses because quite frankly, I'm sick of wearing glasses every day. And the main reason is because I think it's like disturbing the filler that I've got here to make my nose appear straighter than it naturally is. Um, I'm really happy with the results of my nose. I remember speaking about it in, I think my Christmas vlog and it was like, everything was super swollen because I just had it done. It's the second time I had my nose done and honestly, it's held up really well. Look at that cute little like, shoop. but yeah, so I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like it's migrating the filler a tiny bit, like, it's just like a bit of fat here. And also it's just annoying like when I'm, this is like really oddly specific, but when I was playing Stardew Valley on the TV the other day, I have to wear my glasses because I literally can't even see the TV screen properly. And it's like that distance, like from the sofa to the TV, it's really not a big distance. So it's a very small flat. And I wear my headphones when I play games on the TV or just like all the time really. And it's like uncomfortable because I can like feel it here with my headphones on top of it. And when I go to the gym, I don't wear glasses because I feel like they just get in the way a little bit. So I finally decided to take the plunge and just wear contact lenses instead because honestly, I prefer the way I look without my glasses anyway. So we're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna wear makeup to be honest. I'm just gonna chill out until my appointment. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna end the vlog here because like, I'm not gonna come back and talk to you about my Specsavers appointment, it's not that interesting. But yeah, thank you for coming along with me over the last couple of days. Um, if you did watch to the end, then thank you. If you did enjoy, then please feel free to like, comment and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!